The bike that dominated the grueling Paris Dakar rally in the 1990s will always be remembered as one of the many legendary bikes in Yamaha's history, and the Tenorus 700 honors that legacy when it launches in 2018. Powered by the famous CP2 engine and delivering the go-anywhere adventure riding experience in a lighter, more accessible package, the Tenorus 700 was an instant success and has changed the world of adventure motorcycling. Despite fierce competition, the Tenorus 700 remains the best-selling bike in its class and now, for 2025, comes a new generation of the Tenorus 700 that builds on the Tenorus heritage. It remains an exciting bike inspired by Yamaha's rally success, but now more accessible to more bikers. So guys, want to know the updates? Please keep watching. The CP2 engine share with the MT-07 essentially gets the addition of a YCCT throttle. This change is largely driven by the need to comply with the latest 5 Euro plus emissions regulations that come into effect in 2025. There are two different throttle maps, Sport and Explorer, which can be switched using buttons on the updated right-hand switch pod, plus traction control can be switched via the dashboard menu. In terms of power and torque, there is no increase compared to the previous version, but the 2025 Yamaha Tenorus 700 has a fatter torque curve at low revs to improve its off-road capabilities. From the outside, the clutch cover looks different, with the position of the clutch actuator shifted forward by 35 degrees and a smoother surface on the cover itself, both changes intended not to interfere with the rider's right foot. While Yamaha has not yet added a semi-automatic transmission to the Tenera, even as an option, the gearbox itself has been upgraded with internal revisions that promise smoother shifting. For the suspension, the standard model uses a 43mm upside-down fork that is fully adjustable for preload, compression and rebound amping. For the rear shock, it gets a new linkage. For the rally model, which replaces the extreme model, gets 20mm more suspension travel at each end compared to the base model, which is 230mm front and 220mm rear. There are no changes to the mechanical parts of the brakes. The weight goes up slightly, with the standard Tenera rising from 205kg to 208kg, and the rally coming in at 210kg, while the previous extreme was 5kg lighter than that. Hang on guys, Yamaha will announce the pricing details of the Tenera 700 at the NEC show in a couple of weeks, and we'll know when the bike will arrive at dealerships at the same time. 